the day I was born was the day the world collapsed. Those that survived had to make new lives underground. Up above, there was nothing but ash and cold and death. People thought it would last forever, but without us up there, life returned. I was six years old the first time I saw the sun. Mom and Dad were heartbroken by what they saw. The world they'd known gone forever. But not me. I'd never seen anything so perfect. We weren't the only ones who'd survived, and slowly but surely, our little community grew. It wasn't always easy, but for a time, there was peace and prosperity. A new home, a new life, a new normal. But like all things in this world, it was too good to last. The highwaymen came from the east, led by a pair of sisters, twins. Said they'd heard about our little paradise. Said they wanted it for themselves. We never stood a chance. They took everything from us, our food, our homes, our people. We needed a miracle. And that's when we heard the name Thomas Rush. He and his captain had been up and down the West Coast helping folks like us rebuild. And they were on a train headed right through Hope County. Mom sent me to find them, convince them to help us take our home back. They were our last hope, our salvation. But it all went horribly wrong. Captain! Captain, you're alive! Jesus! They're heading this way! Get up, Captain! Come on, get up! What's the fucking highwaymen? They're gonna kill us! Get up, Captain, get up! Jesus, Barnes, just keep screaming like that, you're gonna bring them all down on us. Rush, you're alive! Help me! No, we have no time, we gotta go! Barnes? We are not leaving the cabin behind. They're coming fast. We need to stick together. Understood? Cap. Your time to shine. We need to get armed, we need to get our people, and we need you to find a way out of here. I know, yeah, easier said than done. One step at a time, Barnes. You lead, we'll follow. Oh my god. I thought it was dead. We need to find the armory wagon. Gear up. Save as many people as we can. This way, Barnes. Stick with the captain. We should do it. Our losses and run. We'll be fine. There's more to be saved. Shit! 
That's the armory car. Oh, thanks, Cap. Christmas, everybody. Santa delivered a whole damn train full of presents. Uh, what do we have here? Rabbit. We gotta ask you rabbits a question. The fuck you think was gonna happen? Riding in on a giant hunk of iron, just clouds of black smoke. You think we would've noticed? What do you want, Barnes? We wanna know. If your problem solvers a problem makers. What? <laughs> Our pops always told us that people either solve problems or make problems. The world's got too many fucking problems. And we're looking for people to help solve problems. Uh, our problems. If you're a problem solver, we got you covered. Food, clothes, guns. <laughs> Anything you need. <laughs> Even health insurance. <laughs> but if you make problems well, Pops taught us what to do with problem makers. Problem makers need to be solved. Mm -hmm. Old man solved a shit ton of problems in his day. Yeah. Hell yeah. So, rabbits. Are you all problem solvers or problem makers? We solve problems. We've been solving problems all over this country. Barnes. We can give you fresh water, build shelters. We can get you anything you need. Barnes, shut up. You can build all that? Well, I'm not me, but Rush here. Well, then you are going to be our number one problem solver. Go fuck yourself. Huh. Okay. <laughs> you done? So... Let's try this again. You gonna help solve problems for us, Mr. Rush? Hmm. Okay. Save yourself! <laughs> Yeah. <sighs> 
Wake up, wake up. I recognize you from the train. You're captain of security, right? I'm Carmina. Oh my god, I saw you hit the water and I was able to pull you out before you drowned, but... Near as I can tell, I think we're the only ones who got away. Come on. Okay. We have to be careful. The twins, they took off with Rush, but a lot of the highwaymen, they stuck around. Okay, we, we have to get back to Hope County. My mom, my mom, she'll know what to do. Come on. Miss? Come on, we just need to follow the river to get to Hope County. I can't believe what happened. They must have seen the train coming. I should have known better. Those fucking twins, Nikki and Lou. The first time I saw them, they came to our house. Said it was their house now. And we could either leave willingly, or they'd burn it down with us inside. My dad tried to fight me. So, they took him. Then they took the house. My mom and I were forced to start over on our own. We weren't their only victims. But my mom managed to bring survivors together, and we all tried to build a place where we could sleep. Fuck. There's a tunnel up there that leads to Hope County. The highwaymen are blocking our way. We're gonna need some firepower. Let's keep moving. that old mine when I left to get help. There's a workbench inside. You can use it to build a weapon. Rush was supposed to be the final piece so that we could finally fight back. But now, we're worse off than we were. I'm sorry about these people. I promise I'll figure out a way to make this right. There's that work. There's that workbench I told you about. Rush said you were resourceful, so let's build something. You can use benches like this to build make Yeah, we need more resources. We're gonna have to poke around and scare some up. Call this stuff back to the workbench. I want to see what you can slap together. Holy shit, is that some kind of saw launcher? That's amazing. Man, those highwaymen are in for it now. Now we're ready to attack the bridge.
owe you one. Come on, we're almost there. There it is. Home. I hope Mom is okay. Carmina! Oh, thank God. I was so worried. Mom. Uh, kids, go back inside. I'll be right there. What's wrong? There is a whole train full of people to help us. But... The highwaymen? The twins? They took Rush. Everyone else was killed. Oh my god. It was terrible. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. I never should have gone out there, Mom. I... Oh, honey. What are we gonna do now? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I mean, no one's coming to help us. We're on our own. It's just us. Shh. Let's get you both inside. You can tell me the whole story. Thank you for bringing her home. All right, guys. You know how to handle a gun. You know your way around this valley better than anybody. So? So? Sitting around moping isn't doing any good. Look, Rush was supposed to help us build someplace safe. Now, it's up to us. There are brave people here scattered around. We just have to find them. Bring everyone together. Show them we can stand up to the highwaymen. Mom, it's not gonna be easy. I know. But it's our only choice. So, this is it. Home. Mom's right. The two of us can work together to build this place back up. Anytime you need a hand, give me a call. I'll come fight by your side, Cap. You don't mind if I call you Cap, right? Captain of security just sounds, well, a little formal. Listen, you have been put through the ringer. If you want to freshen up with a change of clothes before we get started, there's some stuff over there. You should probably talk to Mom. She'll give you the rundown on what we can do for prosperity. If Carmina's going to have a future, we've got to build up prosperity. 
Don't know what we'll do when we run out of duck here. My name is Kim. I guess you could say I run things around here. I know you've already been through a lot, Captain. But the truth is, we need all the help we can get. And at the moment, you're it. We thought your people on that train were gonna give us an edge. We were all gonna work together to grow things, make things. We were gonna fight back against the twins. But all of that is gone now. So, it's up to us. We've got a lot of work to do. Let me show you how things work around here. This is prosperity. If we're gonna have a fighting chance against the highwaymen, the first thing we've got to do is get this place up and running. We have several facilities to make prosperity thrive. These are the places where you can craft weapons and vehicles, cultivate plants for health, and many other things. This is Hope County. In order to get the most out of our facilities, we need ethanol to upgrade them. Your map shows the highwaymen outposts, where they store the ethanol they stole from us. Secure these locations to get what we need. And here's where you can find specialists. People with the expertise to really give us a fighting chance against the twins. Bring them home, and they'll make prosperity and you stronger. But without Thomas Rush, none of this is gonna work. He's built up settlements before, and without his knowledge, we won't be able to take Prosperity to the next level. Lately, the Twins are sending a lot of prisoners to their coal mine. I'd start looking there. So, that's it. We rescue Rush, find people who can run the facilities, and bring them enough ethanol to maximize what we can craft. If you can help us, we'll do everything we can to help you. We gotta watch out for well, each other now. Hello. Working my ass off here. But it feels worth it. Thanks for all your help. We're gonna need as much as you can give. They'll have Rush locked up underground. Get in any way you can, and bring him home. Good luck, Cap. That was too close.
Jesus, I thought you were dead. I should have known you'd come through. You came back for me. You crazy son of a bitch. You came back for me. Go now. Get going. And the turret. I'll get us out of here. Let's go. Go, go, go. Where we're going. You'll have to drive us the rest of the way.
get out of there alive. Thanks for risking your neck for me, Cap. You're not gonna believe what I saw. One night the mine was attacked by people who looked like they were out of the Stone Age. They were fighting against shotguns, using only bows and arrows. They took shots and they kept on coming. Listen, I don't believe in wizards or magic, but I know what I saw. Those people had something. Something that I can't explain. If we could find out what their secret is, maybe we'd have a chance against the twins. Slow down. Jesus. Fresh, they really did a number on you. It's nothing. Their two will be fine. Did I hear right? You Thomas Rush? You must be Mrs. Rye. Carmina's told me a lot about you. Your daughter's as tough as they come. Preaching to the choir. Carmina, get the alcohol. Got it. Let's have a look at that wound. Careful. <laughs> You're enough to jig the socket. You all that's left? Yeah. I'm sorry, I can't imagine how you feel. Responsible. Well, the twins have a way of making you feel hopeless. You can see why we need your help. Then how much use I'll be to you anymore. We can still do this, Rush. Build this place up and make it strong, just like we talked about. It's not that easy. We had specialists, experts. But you must have started small. This is no different. You've done it before. Show us how. We're gonna need more people, and they're gonna be willing to learn. Learn fast. We will. Okay, now that socket. You ready? Yeah. Go. Then. Let's get started. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Hey, stop. How about we rest first? Good idea. Hey there. Hello. You? Hey. Happy you made it. With the right people and the right spirit, we can have something special here. Whenever I built up settlements back west, I always made sure to bring the right people together to do the job. Because it's specialists that'll take all of this to the next level. Without them, we can't move forward. Right now, we're still short on specialists. They're out there, Cap. Bring them back to prosperity, and I'll take care of the rest. So you come in. Oh, thank goodness! You're so nice! I'm Bean, creator of Wikibenia. You know, your one-stop shop for maps and intel. Wikibenia, just the tips! But here's the rub. Wikibenia's in danger. My key assets are all gone. Intel, maps, you name it. And now my business plan is missing too. But, but I, I know who gave me the shaft. My employee, Richard. He's got a real bad gambling habit, always playing crazy eights with those highwaymen and losing his pants. He must have hidden the plan somewhere for safekeeping, else they'd just take it from him. They're not very nice, or respectful. His usual gambling place isn't far from here. If you spook him, he'll run and lead you right to his hidey hole. I'm sure of it. I'd go, but I've got bad knees. <laughs> and lungs. A and eyes. Anyway, please get my business plan back. If you reach around my back now, I'll reach around yours later. That's a Wikibenia promise. Everything who comes to prosperity helps me get better. I don't want to count my chickens or anything, but I think we can win this. No, 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 
not like this. Don't shoot. Oh, Christ, please help me. Did Bean send you? Please don't hurt me. I'm, uh, obviously unarmed. I need help! Please, someone help! You trying to get a good look at my beaten tackle or what? What are you, some kind of pervert? Help me! Oh, God, please help! I have no concealed weapons, I swear! I gotta change spots! Look, okay, yes. I lost my clothes in a game of cards. Ha, ha, ha. I have a problem, all right? I didn't mean for things to get this bad. I was one of Bean's scouts, and I thought that since the highwaymen travel so much, they'd be a good source of information. They said they'd play me for it, and before I knew it, I'd gambled away all of Bean's assets. The only things I had left to offer were the clothes off my back and Bean's business plan. The plan's in my secret stash, in a little bunker just over the hill there. I promise I'll never gamble again. Oh, Chris! Please help me! Stay sharp. I see one of them. Hey, it's you! <laughs> I'd clap for joy, but my daddy always said that was for clowns and babies, and I'm neither. Remember I mentioned the reach around your back? Well, I'm gonna set up Wikibenia <clears throat> HQ and prosperity starting now! I got scouts collecting hot tips, and I'll get maps again, and, well, you'll see. With my business plan, Wikibenia will go global! Just like daddy always talked about how it was before! Everyone will help us and give us donations! It'll be great! I'll see you at prosperity soon, right? Right. I can't wait! Well, have a nice time until then! Yeah. 
You're that outsider, huh? You're the highwayman are none too happy with you. Good. About time you young gun stepped up to the plate. Name's Grace. And if I wasn't blind as fuck, I'd be fighting right beside you. I might have lost a step or two, but I'm still putting my hands to good use. Once I realized I couldn't aim and shoot like I used to, I built a gun where none of that would matter. It's inspired by something you cooked up, actually. Only I made a few modifications. If I wasn't so modest, I'd say it was the best gun in Hope County. Only problem is the highwaymen stole it from me and took it to the old train yard. That's where they hoard all the goods they've been stealing from the people here. It won't be easy, but trust me, the risk is worth the reward. Go get the gun, steal back the supplies they took, and mow down any pinheads who get in your way. Materials. We'll need that stuff if we're gonna push back against the highwaymen. Gone. Those saws will cut through just about anything. Whatever they don't cut through, they'll bounce off of. Use metal surfaces to ricochet. That'll help you get the edge on anyone using cover. Perfect against those shielded fuckers, too.
Felt good, huh? You did good. Smack those highwaymen right in their mouths. Keep the gun. Like I said, my eyesight ain't what it used to be. Figure you'll get more use out of it than I will. Where was I? Ah, right. And those supplies you collected? That stuff belonged to the people. Invest it back into the community. The folks in prosperity will make the best use out of whatever you can give them. Me included. You heard right. I'm headed to prosperity for good. You and your friends ever need training? You come see me. Take care of yourself. Yes, sir. We're ready to fly. Okay, so here's how we do this. The highwaymen set up strongholds wherever they collect rare resources. We'll fly in, and I'll drop you close by. Now you need to find and grab this package. It's marked by pink smoke, but beware. The package has a GPS transmitter. So once you grab it and start moving, it won't be long before the highwaymen come after you. I'll radio you an extraction point and bring the chopper around to get you. Talk to me when you're ready to go. Me? Haha, <laughs> I'm ready yesterday. Come on over. 
We're just getting started. Get it while it's hot. Stuff that smells this good won't last long. I will take that as a compliment. Mom thought it'd be a good idea to have a little dinner for everyone to boost the morale. I'd say it's working. We all need a little downtime. Except for her, she's got no quit. Don't expect that to change. Can't remember the last time I hosted this many people. Might have been when I told the whole town I was pregnant with you. Mom. They were all so happy for your dad and I. It's not perfect, and there's still work to do, but it sure is nice to have something to be happy about again. I'll drink to that. We wouldn't have any of this if it weren't for you. Now, come on, go grab a drink. It's long overdue. What the hell? It's them. We need to get the kids inside. Come on. those down. I don't want to scare the kids. Carmina! <gasps> Everything's gonna be okay. <laughs> I'm sorry, I just don't like it when people lie to little kids. Why are you doing this? Because of your hero here. Until you showed up, everything was running smoothly, but you... You've become a fucking problem. Taking from us, throwing everything out of balance. I think we should just kill them. No. <laughs> Hold on. We don't want any martyrs here. What we want is to make sure everyone understands that your help is a curse. Every person you help, every child you inspire, <laughs> every settlement you build, we will take from you. And when you've got nothing, we'll come for you. <laughs> don't drop it. The only currency in this world is power. You, you made us look weak. That ends now! We're gonna take everything that you hold dear, starting with your home. And if we can't take it, we'll break it. Don't be here when we come back. Come here, come here. Oh my god. Oh my god. Come on. It's okay. Now it's okay. It's okay. Let's go inside. Let's go. Gap, over here. Carmina filled me in. There's no goddamn way we're letting the highwaymen take what we built. Now they're gonna come back with everything they got. Good. We're gonna make them regret it. We don't have a lot of time to get into a position where we can fight back. So we'll need to know exactly when those bastards are coming. I've sent a scout up ahead. They see any trouble, they'll send a warning. That'll give us enough time to prepare. I'd feel better if you went to check on them, Captain. Make sure they're ready. Because there's no room for error. These walls fall, we fucking fall. We need more well-fed fighters like you. 